الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبة في الله in these strange times meaning this time of great isolation a time that can be a time of a great loneliness for some of us a time that can be a time of great fitna and not being tied to the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being with the jama'ah jama'at al-muslimin <clears throat> and with that being the case a habit of Allah it's a time when a person needs to reflect and sit back and contemplate his or her life his or her lifestyle how they're living the activities they involve themselves in prioritize and being positive and part of that positive is having to walkle on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that that's a part of the positive and that the believer should always be striving to put his or her trust in Allah azza wa jal and tawakkal this concept of tawakkal and putting one's trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a concept which is not uncommon amongst Ahli Kitab even <clears throat> meaning the people of the book from before us likewise they understood and even perhaps now some of the people understand a janib min juanib tawakkal that they understand a part of tawakkal this trusting in Allah because when things are uncertain and we're striving to have our needs met striving to have a positive attitude striving to not be discouraged <clears throat> that we have to put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's imperative to the ingredient so it's not a matter of just having good faith or a matter of a positive mental attitude alone or a matter of making affirmations for oneself but rather the affair or the issue is that we need to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and drawing nearer to Allah azza wa jal one of the ways is by leaving off the ma'asi and the noob leaving off the sins the accumulated sins the accumulation of sins meaning those sins that we've been doing for years regular sins or the new sins that we compile one sin after another till it leads to a different type of sin all of that all of that we need to live and that's a part of taqwa that's a part of the piety that we want to attain. For example, when we fast the month of Ramadan, <clears throat> we're trying to attain taqwa. That's one of the objectives. And that's one of the nata'ij that we can gain, meaning the end result, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favors us to have a Ramadan which is accepted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, Kutiba alaykum siyam. Ya ayu ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum siyam. Kama kutiba ladhina min. Min qablakum. La'allukum. Tattakun. 
الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم O you, uh, O you who believe, fasting is prescribed for you, similar to the way it was prescribed for those who came before you, لعلكم تتقون, in order that you would gain taqwa. And that taqwa, habitavillah, is a part of adhering to the commandments of Allah Azza wa Jal and avoiding his prohibitions. <coughs> and going back to tawakkul and not being pessimistic during these times means that you're putting your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But how do we do that Islamically? Islamically, as some of the ulama fudala, yastinid al salaf some of the scholars they mention in relation to how the salaf understood the concept of tawakkul <clears throat> that tawakkul ala Allah it is it's ittimad ala Allah وَفِعْلَ أَسْبَابَ إِتِّمَادَ اللَّهِ وَفِعْلَ أَسْبَابَ This means, أَحَبَتِ فِي اللَّهِ that the Islamic concept of tawakkul on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> that this concept is a reference to striving to attain whatever you're trying to achieve and attain and making the ultimate effort to attain it meaning that tawakkul when you're trying to attain something and achieve something, you're making your utmost effort. For example, the one who wants wealth, that they're striving to gain wealth by getting a job or somehow becoming financially independent, making an invention, rethinking an idea, starting a business. Those are the means had the fi'l asbab as the scholars mentioned this is making the effort to achieve those those things and the fact or another example would be the one for example a sister who wants to have a child that what would be referring to the Islamic concept of tawakkul in her situation would be that first she strives to get married for example if she's not married she strives to get married and of course akramakum Allah they have they strive to have a child by lawful relations and the ultimate component of all of this in both of those scenarios the sister who wants to have a child the person who wants an increase in their wealth is that they put their reliance solely with Allah so this is what we mean by this that it is it uh, that it is strictly relying upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making the effort or making an effort to attain whatever you're trying to attain and the ittimad al-Allah the ittimad al-Allah habit of Allah is the scholars mention like Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah wa ghayru this ittimad al-Allah is that actually you're putting your heart with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as far as the results so for example the example of the, the one who wants his risk increased that means he's went out, he sought, 
the bounties of a loss of panotata, you know, tried to get uh, lawful earnings, trying bedala jud, you know, he strove his utmost. Maybe if it was about getting a job, then he put in applications. You know, he did the best he could to fill those applications out and just did his ultimate best. He strove. And then the etimad al Allah. What does this mean? Etimad al Allah, habit of Allah. That means then his heart lies with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as far as the results. The results of his efforts. <coughs> he leaves that natija, that result with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that means he, he put his effort in. And then he put his trust with Allah. And that's, a, that's a, an issue, qalbiyah. We can't measure how much tawakal you have. I can't say, oh, so-and-so, he's doing this, and he only has this much tawakal. We can look at evidence from his actions, but ultimately the tawakal, the measurement of tawakal, is an issue of the heart. It's a ibadah qalbiyah. It is an action of the heart. So... That's something we can only, we can't measure that. That's between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, when a person is putting their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they're making the ultimate efforts to attain, and then they're putting their trust, they're leaving the results with Allah. They put their total faith and their heart and their disappointment not their disappointment but that they accept the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they accept the decree of Allah azza wa jal that is what what this concept of tawakkul means is that we're putting our trust and the results with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our hearts with Allah. And that if we get the job or we don't get the job, it doesn't cause us to be destroyed. It doesn't cause us severe sadness. We're human. But that we know how to deal with it because we know ultimately it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah did not decree that for us. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm and nafia. ورزق طيبة وعمل متقبلا وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم